So what is this? A flower. Very good. This is Rose. You're doing amazing. This one smells exactly like a bouquet of flowers. Now on to the next one. This one is phenomenal. I think you'll get this one right away. Most people do. This one smells fantastic. So I'm putting this essential oil right underneath your nose. And you guessed right away that it is minty. And that it is... Yes, almost as if it were like a tea. So what do you think that is? Good. This one is peppermint. So you got mint, which would mean you're correct. Very good. Good job. On to the next. This one is so, so, so nice. Now this one is a bit more unique. And it is a bit more of a intense essential oil. I'm going to put this right under your nose. Please keep your eyes closed. This one smells a bit earthy and a bit like a lemon. Any guess? Okay, let me know in three, two, one. Very good guess. This one is lemongrass. It smells exactly like a candle store, in my opinion. Good job. You're doing fantastic. And we're on to the second to last one now. I love this one, by the way. This one reminds me of home. So keep your eyes closed. It is essential for this. Now let me know what you think this smells like. Good, a bit like a bakery. A place that makes cupcakes. Good. A bit like frosting. Very good. So what do you think this one could be? Let me know in three, two, one. Very good. This one is vanilla. You're doing amazing. This one smells exactly as if you went to a bakery and wanted to get a cake. It's phenomenal. Okay. And on to the last one, which is my favorite and is a lot of everyone's favorite. This one's phenomenal. So I'm going to put this right underneath your nose now. And this one is a bit more earthy and a bit like a spa. So, let me know what you think this smells like. Floral, very good. Aromatic, very good. Great, exactly like flowers or like tea. Very good. Any guess? Let me know in three, two, one. Very good. This one is lavender. This one smells, if not identical, to a lavender or a sleepy time tea. It is so good. You're doing amazing. Just remember to keep your eyes closed. We're going to move on now to a separate type of intuition exam, okay? Are you ready? You're doing fantastic. So, behind me, I have something known as a Snellen's chart. And what that is, it is a chart with letters on it for you to read from. One side is reflected and one side is readable. Based off of your intuition, which side do you think is the reflected side? My left or my right side? Let me know in three, two, one. Very good. My left side is the one that is the reversed image. Very good. I'm going to tell you three letters from the first two lines of the Snellen's chart, but I'm going to be pointing at one of them. I want you to let me know which one you think I am pointing at. Are you ready to begin? Let me let you know. So, right now I'm pointing at a letter at the Snellen's chart. We have the letters E, the letters F, and the letters P. Which one am I pointing at? E, F, or P? Let me know in three, two, one. Very good. The letter I'm pointing at is E. Good job. We're going to move down to the third line now, and I am pointing at another letter. The letters are T. It is the letter O, and the letter Z. Which one do you think I'm pointing at? Let me know in three, two, one. One. Very good. If you guessed the letter T, you would be correct. We're going to go on down to line 8. And line 8 is a bit not legible. 
So I'm going to let you know the three letters and I'll let you know which one I'm pointing at. Good. The letters are F, the letters are P, and the letters are T. Which letter am I pointing at? Let me know in three, two, and one. Good. If you guessed the letter T, you would be correct. Very good. So it looks like legible and readable Snellen's chart as exam is doing magnificent. Good job. Now, I'm going to give you a bit of an assessment based off of your basic knowledge. Okay? And I'm going to ask you to remember this. Okay? In front of me, I have a little card. It is. It says one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Once again, it says one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Okay? What I want you to remember is red fish, blue fish, in that order. Okay? Red fish, blue fish, red fish, blue fish. Can you remember that for me? Very good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to point at one of the fish. I want you to remember that there's only a red fish and a blue fish, okay? Now take a guess which one I'm pointing at. In three, two, and one. Very good. I'm pointing at the red fish. Thank you for taking a guess. Now, I want you to know that there is a yellow fish, a green fish, a red fish, and a blue fish. So in total, we have four colors. Yellow, green, red, and blue. Using your intuition and keeping your eyes closed, which one do you think I'm pointing at? The yellow fish, the green fish, the red fish, or the blue fish? So right now, I am pointing at a fish. What am I pointing at? The yellow fish, the green fish, the red fish, or the blue fish? Let me know in three, two, one. Good. If you guessed the green fish, your intuition would be correct. Now, without looking at all, can you tell me the four lines that I told you to remember? Was it red fish, blue fish, one fish, two fish? No. Keep your eyes closed. Was it two fish, one fish, blue fish, red fish? No, it was not. Keep your eyes closed. Was it one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish? Let me know in three, two, one. Very good. It was one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Good job. You're doing fantastic. Now, I'm going to show you a color palette. And in this color palette, we do have all of the colors, nearly all of the colors of the rainbow. I'm going to let you know two separate colors, and I want you to let me know which one you think I am pointing at. We have the color brown, and we have the color white. Which one do you think I'm pointing at? Let me know in three, two, and one. I am pointing at brown. Very good. On the second set, we have green and yellow. Let me know in three seconds which one you think I'm pointing at, either green or yellow. Let me know in three, two, and one. Good. If you guessed yellow, you'd be correct. On the third line, we have a brown and a red. Let me know which one I'm pointing at in three, two, and one. Keep your eyes closed. Good. I'm pointing at red, if you guessed correctly. And on to the third line, we have blue and we have a champagne. Which one am I pointing at? Let me know in three, two, and one. Good. I'm pointing at blue. Amazing job. We are going to write that down because it looks like your intuition is perfect. As well, it looks like you are able to assess good information whilst keeping your eyes closed. Good job. Next, for this cranial nerve exam, I'm going to ask you to keep your eyes closed, but I'm going to ask 
ask you to use your ears. I have a pen light in front of me and it's going to make a click sound. Keeping your eyes closed, I want you to let me know how many sounds you hear. Let's begin. Keep your eyes closed.
guesses, let me know in three, two, and one. If you guessed an hourglass, you guessed bubbles, or you guessed some sort of water mixture, you would be absolutely correct. Good job. And on to the final one. Listen carefully, let's begin. soon.